Are you hungry? Are you thirsting for more to life than to just eat, drink, and be merry? And then tomorrow we die? If so, it's you're going to love today's episode because we're going to talk about feeding your soul today. And I'm not talking about food for your physique. I'm talking about food for the spirit that runs your physique. At least I hope it's running your physique because if your physique or your body or your temple, if it's telling you how to run your life, telling you how to seek pleasure and to avoid pain, pain rather than live correct principles and enjoy the fruits of the spirit governing or controlling the body, then you need to make a change. And when you make that change, you're gonna discover that your spirit is hungry, hungry for food. And the source of food is through often the best of books. Just like your body needs food to sustain life, your spirit needs material. It needs either personal experience from people like a coach or from a neighbor or someone else that you recognize that has a good attribute and you want to learn to develop it. You ask them, how did you develop it? And they'll teach you. And through listening to their example and what brought wisdom into their life, you can then apply those same principles to your life and begin to change and enjoy the same fruits that brought them fruits. It's kind of like this. If you have an apple seed and you plant the seed, it's going to grow and produce apples. And when you are a passerby and you see that someone has an apple tree, you can approach them and say, hey, how'd you get the apple tree? They can pull off an apple, hand you the seed. This is a really simplistic analogy. Hand you the seed from the apple or and say, plant the seed, nourish it, and watch it grow, and it will produce the same fruit. Likewise, in our pursuit of perfection, or our pursuit of taking on the character, perfections, attributes, and physique of Christ, you're going to see people that have talents that you don't have. Ask them how they got them. They'll share it, and they'll help you develop it by showing you the principles that got them there. And then when you decide to take ownership of your life and make those changes yourself, you begin to nourish and feed your soul with the proper water, sunlight, nourishment from the soil, etc. And one of those ways is, is again, to go with a coach, go with a trusted neighbor or friend that you see that's exemplary. Uh, another is read the best books. These mega successful people write their nuggets of truth in a book for $24.95. And you can read the book and glean what truths stand out to you, what speak to you, and apply them and have those changes in your life. And if you really want deep, deep change, you go to the source found in the Holy Word of records of prophets and apostles that have turned their life over to the Lord and allowed the Lord to change their lives. These men are prototypes. They teach everyone how to come unto the Lord because they've come unto the Lord. And others likewise follow their suit and change their lives and turn over to the Lord. And the whole point is these records, whether someone you know or a coach or a neighbor, etc., as I mentioned before, or people that you know that have turned to the Lord and seen the results in their lives, you turn to them and seek their counsel. And ideally, they point you to God, who then empowers you to make those changes so you can live those correct principles. And when you do so, you are on the path to becoming more like Jesus taught us to be even one with God, as he is one with God. Again, the key coming back to where we began is to feed your soul. What does that mean? It means you need to nurture your mind with good entertainment, if we dare say so, um, with good books, with audiobooks, with podcasts, with YouTube videos, ones that feed your soul with good nutrition. Not talking about going to fast food here for a fast food diet. I'm talking about nutritious food that teaches you self mastery, teaches you how to live correct principles so that you can make those changes. You make those changes. And the only way to catapult you to the next level is not about willpower. It is not about the strength of your flesh. It is not about you. The only thing that's about you is that you take accountability, turn your life over to the Lord, and let Him work from within so that you can make the changes. And then as you continue to feed your mind with the best books and the best resources you have access to, then 
It's miraculous. This little seed, this little apple seed that was planted begins to sprout and it doesn't happen overnight. This isn't a get rich quick kind of thing. You know, we plant a seed and have a plant a tree the next day. It's a process and you watch it sprout and grow and you see as you do such, your faith increases and you begin to feed it better, more nutritious things. And then you start having results. And eventually you get to the point where you produce the apple tree and you give back, you love back and help others to have the joy that you have. And I'm telling you, that is where, that's the cream of the top. That is the creme la creme. That is when you see another person's eyes spark and taste of the joy that you have personally tasted by you sharing that with them. Oh, so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I'd like to conclude with this, is that this process of changing you, it's about it's taking on the character, perfections, and attributes, and physique of Christ. And when you make that change and start making those tweaks, imagine what it would be like if everyone did that. If we focused on taking on the character, perfections, attributes, and physique of Christ individually, and collectively. It wouldn't be about who is right and who is wrong, where you're from and where you're not from, or what race you belong, what race you don't belong to, what religion you belong to, what religion you don't belong to. Because we become one with God by following the teachings of Jesus Christ and taking on his character, perfections, attributes, and physique. And when you do that, you tap into God's power and he changes you. And as a result of you changing, it has this ripple effect. Thank you.